don't think that kid even realizes that we're gonna learn that the necklace means fuck all. It's just he didn't want to trade his son up. And they actually does love him more than anything in the whole wow world. And that's like the whole point. But yeah. I'm just gonna fucking zoom. Watch this, I'm meant to have a cutscene by Run Out the Cave. We'll go check on Da and see, yeah. Uh, whether what. That's all I had to do. Everyone seems to be back. I thought I'd be angry when he sees it. Don't be silly, honey. How could you possibly bad to see you back, Sim San? I'm gonna talk to him. I'm right behind you. Right. Do it. Do it. Hello, Father. I brought Mother's necklace back from the lair of the beast for you. But it, it is broken. You, you did what? Foolish child! Ah. <sighs> hmm? Huh? You... You could have been killed. And then where would I be, hmm? Without you, my most treasured possession. <laughs> huh? But... but you said that Mother's necklace was your most treasured possession. I said it, but I did not mean it. How could I? Don't you see? I did not trust the monster, so I said a lie. I lied because I wanted to protect you. R really? I, I... I thought you did not care about me. I... I am so sorry. You must have been so worried. <laughs> <laughs> to think it was all but a misunderstanding. If only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. Yes, if only. <clears throat> I'll see you both outside, okay? Father, these are my new friends. They are the ones who rescued everybody. Oh. <sighs> I cannot thank you enough. You are true heroes. <clears throat> the first time we met, when you rescued me, I was searching for some. But I had to pretend that I did not care in case the monster came back and realized that I had lied. I hope you understand. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Where is my friend with the feathers? I wanted to say thank you. Silvando left for us suddenly. Perhaps we should go and look for him. Oh boy, bloody Silvando. I think we're gonna finally... He's going to tell us the truth. He's going to be honest with us. He's... He's Hendrik's brother. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, he's... I thought he... He said outside. 
to him. Oh, I thought it meant like outside the fucking town. Evidently not. Uh, I saw him up the stair. Okay, so he's up here. Silvando, Silvando. <sighs> if only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. <gasps> ah, you scared me. How long have you been standing there? Ah, never mind. It. It was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... he's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? You really are a hero, huh? You know, I thought it was enough. Traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? What I'm saying is... I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. But there's something I want you to help me with first. It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon, but I can't do that to my darling boys. So we have to leave them somewhere safe, with somebody who can look after them. Now, I know just the place and just the person, but... Well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? Well, I have an idea who it's going to be. It's going to be the guy who let us open the gate to allow our boat through. Because they clearly have some sort of history. So we're outside, and the door it's gonna make me run all the way there as well, isn't it? As opposed to fucking a quick little teleportation. I have a feeling that he might be housing one of our other allies as well. Okay, we're getting the gang back together again. to make my parading days are over no! 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 Ah, 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 ah. but do not fear it will only Oops. we we understand Silve. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylv. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And if anyone can show that rotten spoil sport what's what, it's you. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> Exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. Puerto Valor? Wait. Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's... 
So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrik. Such a sweet, simple boy. Ah! All right, my little champions of cheer. Let's go show Puerto Valor how to party! I cannot fathom it. The boy is unrecognizable. And he has abandoned the name his father gave him. Don Rodrigo must be furious. <clears throat> Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo, the noblest and most revered of all knights. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. But the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor never to return. Until now. <laughs> but perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor, the road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. It's fucking parade, dude. Our parade fucking went quick, didn't it? Actually, we can uh, fast travel. Maybe not. I'm sure like we were near Port of the Law before. Right, so we go across the valley. Or oh, actually yeah, not that far. These fucking pickle monsters. Pickling around. Put him in quite a pickle. Once again, it's another long run. Oh, I can get uh, the horse for a tiny bit of the way. Right, avoid them. Because them things will start fights with me. Thinking. There's gonna be a point here where I won't be able to ride. Over here. How frustrating, darlings. Sometimes the running is just too much running. Because when the running gets tough, the tough gets running. These are all like probably weak, so it's not even worth even looking at them. Just don't even acknowledge their existence at all. Who's that guy? There ain't no way through. Wait, so I've got to go... Can I run in here? Aw, oh, shit. I might have managed to get, like, mount something.
Like they would like f glide or fly over or something. Evidently not. Just a little shallow fucking waterway. Oh wow, I must have got the lighthouse and not the actual part of the water. I was gonna say, I can answer this like, Final Fan like early Final Fantasies where it's just like a tiny little landmark. this place again and yet here I am well at least I came back with a bang you go on ahead honey I need a second to compose myself okay uh, we should head to Don Rodrigo's house 